Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Result, and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So a few hours ago, um, I watched a webinar from um, it's a Mind Your Language webinar. Okay, community. It's, it's from this guy, um, Pavel Dlowaki or something. Anyway, um, the first thing that he learned me watch was um, where's Delphi? was Delphi Helpers. So Helpers is pretty useful. It's a it's something new. I don't know when it was introduced to Delphi, but it seems to be something new. Anyway, if you guys can use it and use it, um, I'm going to keep using it in my future videos. Anyway, so here we have our old variables one. So we're going to start showing guys here. So basically, we already done it. We just take a few guys be taken back. Uh, Mm. Let me just go to the videos. Uh, we have the variables one. So here we have our old variables one. So we had to remember we had to use this into a string function to convert um, an integer to a string value. So you know what? Screw it. We don't we don't need need it anymore. You can just say dot. To a to string, and you can just you can just leave the brackets empty, or remove it. Same goes here. You can just say to string, and that to string um, also has one, but doesn't it isn't supported for the real type. So I have to make it double. Double is the same as real. They are both floating values, except real is kind of obsolete. So let's use double in the future in the future instead. Dot to string and this will work compile add something there and something there let's see I see as you can see it works exactly the same okay then let me just open my old one again okay so let's just add a button to this form I want to show you guys some more stuff. Um, so I'm still new to helpers also. Like I just learned helper helpers a few minutes, hours ago. Anyway. So we can like add a variable s. So you can basically say s equals to let's make an another variable i for integer. You said i equals to 555 five, five. so now you can like just say i dot to string instead of saying the old way like the old way was s colon equals int to str i so it's the old way so i think this helpers way is much easier so you can now say this remember i'll be using this way in the future now in future videos from video i think we are currently at like video 55 so i'm going to be uh, so i'm going to start using this now in future videos if you guys don't have it like if you have an old version of Delphi, then you can still use this it will still work just just remember that i'm using this instead and uh, you don't actually have to say it like this you can also have s and the number then to string like this let's display it as you guys can see and what else is there okay because it i equals to for instance um, the a stored to each chair Let's also go back. So much what else is there? Um, to, okay, so yes, you can also make it um, two boolean, two integer, two in sixty four, two single. We also have the um, lowercase and uppercase functions and compare to and contain to copy. And I'll explain to it, um, these kind of helpers later. And the same way, same way, the same way I'm explaining these variables. 
help us. Also, I'll also explain this other ones. And for I, you can also say just have a string like for instance, string is five five five. You can say it to integer. You can display it. I to string display. As you guys can see, or just have a floating value double. So you can say that double equals to uh, five five dot five five dot five five five. Okay, or we can say double equals to dot to double I think let's see if it works it works okay then you can basically convert it back also the same way you can stay sort it to s let's say t dot to string again so this is really helpful and useful um, yeah I think that's all we really need to learn at this moment so thanks for watching guys uh, make sure to like comment subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video